Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? The last time I posted a real video um, was be right before me and Rodney got married. Um, I also posted our Mexico honeymoon, but since then I really have not been on social media like that. I have definitely not been posting much content on any of my socials and there has been a reason why. For a moment, I felt like I was getting too consumed with social media, likes, clicks, content. Uh, is this brand enjoying my content? Is this audience, reach, is my marketing reaching this audience and so forth? Um, I do feel like I started to lose myself. And in that, I needed time and space to reground myself and figure out what things are important to me, my life, my husband, my family, and so forth. Um, so today is Monday. It is actually my chill day because as y'all know, I'm a hairstylist full time. And a lot of the times I have to work throughout the weekend. With that, um, my Saturday and Sunday are usually booked. So my Mondays are my relaxed day, my day to lounge around the house in my robe to do some needed cleaning. And that's what brought me to this, cleaning my makeup brushes. Now, I'm not an MUA, even though my new clients, they may come into my uh, suite and be like they'll see all my makeup and they'll be like are you an MUA and I'm like no but when I first started this makeup journey I didn't know my shade for real I kept buying the wrong brands I didn't realize that different foundations look different feel different on your skin so I have compiled quite a bit of makeup but I love this lifestyle for me I love getting dialed up to go out and with that, I have been living my life. And I haven't cleaned my brushes, y'all, in two weeks. So today I'm doing a deep cleaning of that. Um, so I use three main products in cleaning my makeup brushes. That's Dawn Dish Detergent, Irish Spring Hand Soap, and uh, the Beauty Blender uh, Makeup Remover. Now, I have bought in my entire life two bottles of makeup remover, like cleaning solution, and I just don't feed into the hype because I don't see it doing anything different to my brushes. My brush, my brush bristles are not softer. My brushes do not get cleaner faster than it would with Dawn Dish Tote. Dawn dish detergent and Irish Spring soap. So, um, yeah, so I literally just paint the brushes with the soap, massage the bristles, and rinse and repeat until that water soaks through clean. So, yeah, y'all, my goal is just to get back being consistent with content publishing. Um, so I have been in the gym. I try to go five to seven times per week. So I will be uploading some videos with that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to keep y'all posted on what's been going on these last four months. So what have I been up to? Honestly, I've been just living a soft life. I am currently four months into being married and i want this lifestyle for the rest of my life now don't get me wrong as many people have had especially since the pandemic financial constraints uh family issues like whether it's with health or someone passing or whatever we have had either we witnessed people going through that or we ourselves have gone through our different storms but i will say i am blessed to marry the man that i have married he is a provider he is a protector a confidant a best friend and i really just couldn't be more happy he works 
every day to get us to the position that he feels that we are suited to be in. And it really just allows me to fall back into my feminine energy and make sure that his meals are cooked, his house is clean, his clothes are washed so that he can go ahead and do what he need to do for his family. Like what I hate in our generation is the idea that submission is prison. If you're in love and you're getting taken care of, doing what needs to be done for your household first in my traditional opinion is what's necessary to be a true woman so as a woman you should not want to live in a dirty house with dirty clothes and you should not want to eat out every day that's just not natural it's very nasty and it's really alarming that a lot of women either my age older but especially younger have this mindset that someone needs to just accept them for who they are they don't need to get better they don't need to improve they don't need to keep working and that's just what it is we really need to as our generation the above generation really bring back mentorship and those classes that showed you how to eat properly how to fold clothes properly how to wash and clean properly what I'm starting to realize as I talk to more people, especially like people younger than me, there's a lot of women who weren't taught how to properly clean themselves as well as how to properly clean their home. And that is alarming. Beyond being like a partner for somebody, you should want to live in cleanliness. You should, I'm not saying you have to go put on a white glove and run your hand across the banister but there should not be a pile of trash in the kitchen or a pile of clothes on the floor you know every day we all have our slouch days um sometimes you might work out a lot you know you might be changing your clothes three four times a day by the end of the week i understand the 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 linen basket may be overran but there's a lot of women that are really living nastily and whether you want to be a partner to somebody or not you should be a self-sufficient adult that's just my opinion so when it comes to like me and my marriage i have no problem making sure that my husband never runs out of clean boxers he always have matching socks they're clean they smell good when I go shopping for myself, I pick him up a few items because I want him to look good and feel appreciated. One thing that my husband told me before he started dating me, he was never with a woman that thought that he was worthy to get a gift. I personally don't love gifts. Maybe it's because I'm able to give myself whatever I want year round. Thank God. But gifts don't excite me but they do excite people that's why we study love languages a lot of men out here aren't getting appreciated in the way that they want to be appreciated so the point of knowing someone's love language is figuring out how they want or desire to be loved you can't love somebody or appreciate somebody how you want to be appreciated but whether it's coming from a good place or not a lot of us do that like we just fall back in like for example me i my love language i want to say is um quality time and acts of service so that might not appeal to my husband or someone else how it would appeal to me and that's perfectly fine it doesn't make them ungrateful it doesn't make you any less than for doing something that didn't get the result that you thought it was going to do but what i've learned in these four months of being married is i have to keep fighting for the success of my marriage like it is a test and a challenge and it's something I signed up for on July 30th. And four months later, I'm still acting like we are just getting married on July 30th. And I want to act like that 
after we have children, after we get our first gray hairs, after, you know, a, a job is lost or sickness comes. Like, I love this man through and through. Funny thing, at his new job, they had to shave their beards. So in these two years, I've known my husband. I've never seen him without a beard. I mean, he maybe shaved it low to his face, but I've never seen him without hair on his face. And he was so shy. I don't want to put insecure on him, but he was so shy to the fact that he didn't have no hair on his face. And when I saw him, he just looked so handsome to me because it made me realize that I don't love this man for outward appearance. I don't care if he loses a leg. I love my husband based on who he has shown me to be. Faults and all, arguments and all. The man loves me through and through and I love him just the same. So that's how I've been spending my last four months, y'all. I have just been in love and all that I've came to this place. You know, maybe in future videos, I'll share more about my past, but it's a big downer, honestly. I don't really feel like trauma dumping on the masses of the world, but I thank God for the place that I am now. I thank God for all the chapters that I've gone through, the tears that I've cried, the people that have hurt me. Because all of that caused me to champion life. I graduated college at 20 years old with less than $10,000 in student loan debt. I opened up a business at 21 years old. And that business grossed a lot of money. I got corporate jobs, promotions. I was able to buy any car I wanted. I traveled out of the country more than I can count on two hands. I met a man who loves me, cherishes me, protects me, provides for me, caresses me. So I really wish I could transport myself to the past and talk to that 13 year old girl that stood in the kitchen debating on if she wants to slit her wrist. I wish I could go tell her that in just a short amount of time, you're gonna be the happiest you've ever been in life. Everything that you want and dreamed of is gonna come true. You're going to be loved. I'm married into the best family my mother-in-law treats me like a daughter. My sisters-in-law treats me like sisters. I have a granddaddy again. My biological grandfather passed away when I was little, but I do remember the love they showed me. I have a grandmother again. Same for my grandmother. She passed when I was younger, but I do remember that she loved me. I have all of these things. So everything that life hurled at me that life circumstances took away from me in a short amount of time I was able to marry into a family that provided me with everything that I needed especially hearing from like people who they hate their in-law anyway I just said all of that to let y'all know that I am still here I am healthy I am happy I am enjoying married life and yeah i'm back on social media i'll be making content uploading more videos consistently so go ahead and like subscribe and turn on them alerts so that you know when i'm putting a video up tell your friends let me know topics you want me to talk about and yeah i just want all y'all to stay blessed as we walk into christmas i know christmas might be a sad time for some people but give thanks that you're still here, still breathing, and still fighting for everything that you want, deserve, and desire.